Welcome back to Lightwave 8. I'm showing some brief uh, introductions to some of the cool, new, exciting features inside of Lightwave 8. And uh, in this example, what I'd like to do is take this multi-layered object we've got in layer 1, I've got a two-point polychain, and in layer 2, I've got four monkeys. Let's, uh, let's use the min-max button. This, uh, that's a new little tool there take a look. We've got uh, kind of like a barrel of monkeys, except these are some, some crazy proton monkeys here that are linked up together at the wrists, all in one layer. And then in, in layer one, we've got a two-point polychain. First, I'd like to show you just real fast, for those of you that, that might not be familiar with how to make a two-point polychain like this, there are several ways. The way I like to do it, uh, to create something like that, is I'm going to create a box it's got multiple segments. Just by using the arrow key, I can change the segments, or I could open up the numeric panel and do that as well. So I've got my segments. I'm going to make it. I'm just going to select these points right here with lasso select and delete them. The last thing that I did on that object was I grabbed the top point, and I went to selection sets here, and I went new, and I'm just going to call these fix. Okay. What that allows me to do is, over whenever I start using the d dynamics, I can uh, tell it that I want this particular point or anything in that selection set to do something. And in this case, I want it to stay put or fixed. That's why I labeled it fixed. So let's hop back over to this object. And we've got the chain and we've got the monkeys. Now I'm going to hop over to layout. And I've got the two objects in there. Again, it's one object. It's multi-layered, which will come in as two objects. And nothing's going on. So let's go ahead and set up a basic animation of the two-point polychain. So let's say that it comes over here at, say, frame 20. And then maybe here at frame 30. Look at those animation skills. Okay, so just a basic little animation. And we'll leave the rest of the, the frames to kind of show off some of the dynamics. So what I'm going to do is open up the Properties panel, Dynamics, add Cloth Dynamics to it. And under Fix, remember how we, we labeled the, the Fix Point? Well, there it is, the Point Set Fix. Okay, I'm going to come over to Etc. tab and change this to negative 9.8. And let's just use cotton thin for now. I'm going to calculate and close this window. And as you can see, it goes a little wild at the end there, but that's fine. I can easily go back and tweak those settings. Now what I want to do is, I've, that was a really quick calculation because it's just a, a two-point polychain, but I want to use that motion data on this higher poly object back here. And to do that, it's quite simple. What I'll do is, first, I need to parent the monkeys to the two-point polychain. And there's several ways to do that. I'm going to go ahead and open up the new scene editor. And I'm just going to drag that over, and now it's parented. So one of the things you might notice is that it says scene editor 0. That's because I can open up as many instances as I would like of the scene editor, and that comes in handy if you uh, would like to use the dope sheet and also be able to see properties at the same time. You can have multiple uh, instances up. I'm going to close this. You can go open the scene editor or open a new instance. Okay, but back to our demo. So I've got this linked now, but it's not following the motion path, and the way I do that is I've got the monkey selected, properties, the form tab and I'm going to add a hard link. Okay. If I look at the options here, I've got piece mode, why I can have polygons, pe one piece, the the whole object would act as one piece, or I could use point sets. In this case I'm just going to try the uh the polygons. And I also can change the the way that the object is linking to each node. The, these are the object polygons and these are the nodes. Those are the points on the two point polychain. I can also edit uh, with the edit tool just like I can in the other dynamics. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and take a look at what we have here. And as you can see, 
crazily, the monkeys are using the animation path of... I'm going to go ahead and push play. The monkeys are using the animation data from the two-point polychain, even though they're high-poly objects, which is, which is pretty cool. It saves me a lot of time. I could use this same setup for, uh, for multiple cases. Probably the, the most uh, powerful one that I can think of right off would be if you have uh, Sasquatch hair like spline guides, you could use a low poly cage to animate that and it would animate all, you could use that data on the, the you know, tons of, of hair guides that you use for Sasquatch and uh, have it animated. So there you go, quick example. I'm sure that uh, we'll come up with many, many more uh, using this. Actually, I have some other ones that I can show at a later time. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, be sure to check back at www.newtech.com for future videos of LightWave 8.